retold by Robert E. Slavin. The illustrator is Travis Ballantyne. Once upon a time, a lion was napping in a forest, or at least he was pretending to nap. A tiny mouse, thinking he was safe, ran across the clearing near the lion. But all of a sudden, the lion pounced and put his huge paw on the mouse's tail. The poor little mouse was terrified. Please, Sir Lion, he said. Let me go. If you do, be sure that I will do you a good turn someday. The lion laughed and laughed, throwing back his head and tossing his curly mane. You, a tiny mouse, what could you possibly do for me? But I'm in a good mood today, the lion went on. And you've already given me such a good laugh, so I'll let you go. And he did. The mouse was overjoyed. Thank you, sir lion, he said. I meant what I said. Someday I will find a way to help you. Then he ran off into the forest, glad to be alive. The lion forgot all about the mouse, but many months later, he happened to fall into a trap made of thick ropes. The great noble lion was tied up like a Thanksgiving turkey. He knew the hunters would come and capture him, but worse than that, he felt completely ridiculous. He wriggled around but couldn't get loose. Just as he was about to give up and await his awful fate, he heard a small voice. Sir Lion, it is me, the small mouse you helped many months ago. I am here to keep my promise to help you in return. The lion just groaned. I thank you, small mouse, for trying to keep your promise. But how can you get me out of this trap? There are so many ropes, and they are so thick and strong. The hunters will surely be back before you can chew through even one of them. What you say would be true, answered the little mouse, if I were all alone. But I have my whole family here with me to help. It's all my brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, cousins, and friends. The lion looked. Sure enough, there were hundreds of mice, all starting to chew through the ropes. Soon the lion was free. He stood up and tried to regain his dignity. Thank you, small mouse, he said, and all the mouse family. I never thought about it before, but mice are strong too. My strength is in being big and fast, but yours is in being many. Sir Lion, said the small mouse, this is a great day for mice and lions. We learned that all of us have strengths, but the most important strength of all is strength of the heart which allows us to help others, big and small, when they are in need. Then the lion and all the mice ran off into the forest, wiser and stronger than before.